Yes. If it can blow up a glass beaker, we can power a pneumatic engine. Yeah. Uh, we're very excited to uh, show off the only biological car in uh, ASEHE right now. But most of the other schools laughed at us. They didn't think it would work or it wouldn't even move from the line. Usually no one does a biologically reactive car. Yeah, LSU didn't even think it would move at all and they had two cars, both fuel cell cars. So usually what happens is at these competitions, all the other schools usually bring fuel cell cars. So it's always nice and refreshing to have something different. We were actually using just flasks with rubber stoppers in them and we just had like a small pressure gauge stuck in the top. We had reached maybe 18 PSI or something like that, and it was, that was probably the highest we ever, had ever recorded. And uh, we had actually, we had the hood down, or the, the, the glass down in our, the hood that we were using, and uh, Namoy here actually was staring very intently at the, uh, at the beaker uh, when, the, when, the, when the, 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 the flask failed and blew yeast everywhere. Yeah, it exploded. <laughs> that was basically when we decided that we can, we can power a car with this. Um, just your normal sugar. It's, a, it's the direct feed into the, the pathway right. that makes carbon dioxide. Any so. other type of sugar would have to be broken down first by the yeast, converted to glucose, then used. And so it kind of just speeds it up a little bit to just use pure glucose. And then we also have a, uh, a special anti-foaming agent that, uh, that he contacted Dow Chemicals for, and they sent him a sample. They sent us, what, 50? 500 milliliters. 500 milliliters of, which has lasted us like all semester. This was started from scratch. This this was our own idea. We we got funding through ASCHE to where we could actually try try this idea out. And and when we talked to professors, I mean, we actually had one say that was stupid, but he was joking with us. That that's his personality. <laughs> that uh, was actually part of our motivation for making it work. Yeah. Because <laughs> we we hold this certain professor in very high respect. So when he told us the idea was stupid, we're gonna prove him wrong. Yeah.